It's about to get hype, folks, because it is time to meet our top trios, the players that have been standing on the sidelines. Let's get into it. Started off with T Few himself, Flyer, and Parpy. These guys coming from New Zealand to join T Few, one of the most accomplished players in Fortnite. These guys will be looking to pop some heads, take some names. Watch out for them on the battle bus. But moving forward, the next team on our list. It's going to be 72 hours. Cloaksy and Tim the Tatman. Will the wild card be informed today? Just keep watching to find out. These guys look pretty sick. Oh my goodness! He's informed. He's ready to go. Tim's here to play. The champion already. Are I can't wait to watch those guys. Fortnite? I don't know what's They're pretty on. That's insane. All right, moving on to our next team. Nick Merckx, Cypher PK, and Nate Hill. No introductions needed. Gorgeous men and gorgeous gameplay. They're going to be looking to take that number one spot and be our Twitch Rivals champions. Some pretty intense guys there. So we move forward. Next group, Symphony. Look at Nick A30, making his TwitchCon debut as a Twitch streamer oh, here, yeah. and a world champion player, one of the winningest players, and the only player to do it in a single event. Booga is an absolute legend in the esports space, but we got to keep it moving forward with Aiden on the sticks, Dr. Lupo and Sean. These guys crazy, the perpetual duo of ghosts and Aiden and Sean. These guys have played in the top 25 so many times. Can't wait to see what they do here at Twitch Rivals. The next group, chat. Vivid, Gross, Liquids plus Sentinels. Sentinels has made so many names here in the Battle Royale space, and they'll keep doing it in our Twitch Rivals event for Fortnite. The next group, hailing from France, the Solari gang themselves. These guys, an actual pro squad. Can they take down these top content creators? I'm going to be looking out for them. They make a wave in every Twitch Rivals event they play in, and they'll do it here on the big stage. But we'll keep the French theme going as the Vitality Boys will be showing up. Gotaga, Hawkers, and Kiolis, the rep and the Red Bull as well. Gotaga, he's pretty insane. That guy is really good at any video game he picks up, and he'll be playing here, looking for that Twitch Rivals champion banner. But moving forward, Siege, Elevate, Courage, J. Can they play? Can they take off all these squads? And the squads have been qualifying all day. They're feeling good. And when you're feeling good, you play good. But we're coming close to the end of our rosters here. But that does not mean we're coming to the end of good Fortnite players. Mr. Savage, King Richard, and Rojo11. These guys looking good. A mix and match trio. Played in second place at the World Cup with NRG's Mr. Savage. Some pretty crazy stuff from these guys. And we only got two more teams to go through here. We got Mickey TV, Noord, and Benj Fishy. We saw a bunch of the streamers actually giving Fishy a shout out in their tags during the qualifiers, but now he's here in person rocking some of the new Twitch merch as well. Gotta love the new swag. But last and not least by any means, we saw him fragging out in the 1v1s earlier. He's still eating dinner. He doesn't even need it. It's Caillou, Myth, and Colin Frags. Oh my goodness, these teams looking as hot as can be. Who's gonna take home the title? I don't even know. And that's only 12 of the teams. Yeah. We have 30 teams on this stage. That's only 12 of the teams. They're joining the rest of the guys who made it through the wave. Grabbing the best angle in the game right now, it looks like on the map, it's Tifu. You never see him not have this. He is one of the best positional players in the game. Paired up with Parfi. Parfi has been fire on the scene lately, making big plays for himself here. I think he might be the player who has traveled the farthest. Oh, without a doubt. Was that a solo on my marker? <laughs> All the way from New Zealand. Oh, you know who he just marked right there in the yeah. box. Yeah. It's Nate Hill. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, no. But here comes a shot, and the pressure's no. in. And off he goes. That's a solo, bro. It has to be. There's the choice. It's, Yo, it's a solo. Do we go kill. for it? He's getting pushed, I think. And there's another watch team watch on watch the watch. other side. So unfortunately for Nate Hill, it is a rough position. These guys are pushing him. He's dead. Oh. There goes the loop. Work in your favor if you leverage your strength. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. What? We hit those cloaks. What? Right. That got the crowd up off of their feet. Yeah, and Cloaksy yeah. doesn't even doesn't even flinch. I mean, look at him. He's like, oh, I hit those every nah. day. It's all good. Yeah. He didn't even call it out. He didn't. It's crazy. Oh, that was cool. A note, though, that was uh, centered north, north, on north, the north, north, back north, north, end of close, that. Close. He just spotted I mean, he's, team he's, pushing he's, sorry. He's close. He's ramping at me. Be careful. 
Nancy knows about cloak seeds. Oh, he's all business. He's not like a lot of other streamers who scream and freak out and hit shots. Very individualistic. He's a leader, and you hear it right now with his comms in this gameplay. 3v2, because... Oh, 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 my oh, goodness! Up on the other side, this team has a really fun oh. through the trap. He got it though. It's Sharpshooter and company. Tom, right next to you. 72 hours to get right to cloak seed. No Safety. Way. All eyes on Tim. I think Tom's going for the revive right now. Yes. The trap came through. So Tim, the tap man, what can you do? As he's going to get tagged up here, looking pretty grim for Tim right now. Needs to stay alive. Tries Not to that. just throw whatever he can. I a trap. I don't know where it went, bro. Oh, Tim gets taken out. It's all up to 72 hours. He does get the revive off from Cloaksy. He gets a huge shot, but right, the shot wave right, comes right, in. Right, I think they both hard. went to the side. No, Cloak does go down. So, eggs off. Sharpshooter. Can I get you or no? All eyes on and Agalor are going to start to win this exchange. And this is kind of similar to what we saw from the Cypher PK. <laughs> Nick Merckx and Nate Hill engagement from last game. Speaking they do end up fighting against Symphony Booga. And Nick A30. They're above fight. Storm Surge, though, and the other team isn't, so they've got to be careful. I'm down to just that's fight a them. That's no, a tough fight. Now. We talked about Booga's individual skill, of course. Nick, in the Nico, nice, great nice, individuals nice. as well. Battle of the Titans hey, 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 here. Hey, hey. They meet up. Looks like a Nox's going to come I'm through. Three angles. versus two. They have a numbers advantage right now. And let's above, see above, if they can capitalize. Boy. Great shot Get right there. Nick gets taken out, and Booga comes out on top. What a clean fight. All the different sure, angles sure. covered from this team. Where, where's all this loot? Which we is crazy. This. I mean, you okay, have to consider the chemistry isn't there okay, right off the start. These Should guys, we, we don't know how much they practice with mobility? each other. Nice but let me tell me, you, me, that me, fight please. was clean. That was something that you okay. see from a top tier trio. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, Someone running? Booga got the shot on Nick Merckx. And then they came from below. And not only that, but I think there was one player even on the side. So that's something that Nick Merckx has literally no chance of escaping. Yeah, rough situation there, of course. The trio oh, yeah, of yeah. Nick Merck, Cypher, PK, yeah, yeah, hey, and Nate look, Hill. Hey, you love them. They entertain daily. Okay, and they've okay. been playing together for a while. I think okay, games two or three will be got. interesting. Yeah. Will they switch oh. up and go tilted? We'll see if that happens or if they adjust. But, okay. of course, tough situation. You're going up against a great squad. And if they yeah. do go tilted, if they go Gotham City, guess who they're Gotham City, going yes. up against? Oh, I need, it I could be this team. We saw they went shifty first game just because they weren't happy with how Gotham City went. But it okay. still could be a yep. plan of theirs. Never know. Here's It'll a push in towards zone. They're okay. just basically going for position here. Nick A30 using their RPG yeah, to kind of keep that Yo, team off it. of them. Yo, RPG, yep. I'm RPG. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. sitting pretty. You know, all of full me. shields, full health. Courage now. Step on board here. Looks like a replay. Let's see, let's see how the action broke down. With a minigun. Courage does it all here. Was, was that it? Uh, all right, cool. Are you, are you happy you saw a minigun kill finally? Yeah, you got the minigun. That's why they gave him the minigun, man. See if he can keep you in damage. He's hitting shots oh, right now. Aiden, who so, are you? Dude, that's so, oh, right so that's so important. It's the team who won the first game is in first place currently in terms of rising and the tournament in general. What a huge pickup for Aiden. And look at their resources, too. Of course, he's been getting siphons. They're full health. They're in a good position. Look at their mat materials. Even in an even better position. If he keeps hitting shots the way he's doing, like I said, he should be able to close this out in a positive way. High ground still. This is what I was talking about, too, how they split up. Shark goes way up ahead while Aiden stays in the back. Lupo also down behind Aiden. They're deciding. Look, they have a path here. Sean has built it. Aiden can just continue to look for these eliminations. Look for these angles. He's intentionally going to get a little more high ground from Sean. Sean's going to play a little aggressive here. He's known to be an aggressive player, a.k.a. post Aiden's duo. Big shot to Sean. Columbia, they have high high ground right now. Yeah, the max so important to keep split. A lot of players down right now. There's only 24 left. We're still in what looks like. Oh, how did that RPG hit? See the end. Lupo picks up and limb, so they're gonna heal up here, and I think they have a big shield for him as well. So should be in a good position to get back to full health. Lupo picked up one. Fun fact: Lupo is the third most followed person in the state of Nebraska. So let's change that. Let's give it number one. Probably has changed since you told me that in January. They did lose <laughs> high ground in the meantime, though. Mr. Savage. Oh, man. Can Richard come through? Nice. One of the fastest players, Mr. Savage is. Can he find this player? No. Oh, it's Benji Fishy. Now we get talk a little bit of smack here, Mr. Savage. Yeah, you are a savage. Just keep Just keep this. Keep this. In the meantime, I'm though, Aiden, right underneath them, they still have a good position. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Gotta figure out. Booga knocks out Clarity G. We're having a lot of team fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right after, though, the counter comes through. We got this, boys. Just keep, just keep going. Keep going. Symphony Booga going to pick up the limbs. That's pretty good position now. High ground is actually taken instead by Savage, as we mentioned earlier. So only 13 players left. It's going to all come down to the wire here. Agalor, one of our qualifiers, still alive in low ground, turtling as much as they can. But of course, it's Symphony and Booga and Co. in a great position. And your box. 
Aiden's still up though, he's with Sean. He's got a possibility to win this game, guys. You need to give him your energy if you want it to happen. He's gonna grapple up ahead with Sean too. Synchronized grappling. Synchronized grappling, that's a new sport by the way. He yeah, gets coned in for a second. Gonna dig himself out, uh, all eyes like on Aiden. He loves these situations in these close tunnels where he can leverage his control, right aim assist, to take advantage of his right hand advantage to we, hit like, shots can, with shotgun. No? Phenomenal at no that kills, close range fight. That's why he used to love the drop tilt the towers back in the day. Let's see what they can do here. Can Aiden and Sean, the duo, close nice, this out? Fight? Great mats, great shield, in a good position. Like a tough spot against Mr. Savage and company because they have an RPG Poor up man. on high ground. It's so tough here, but they do drop down uh, quite yeah. early. He's gonna take high ground on Aiden, one versus one, for a great opportunity okay. to take high ground. Sean in a rough position, he's gonna actually knock one. So Aiden and Sean, the siphons come through, King Richard gets taken out, Aiden gets some heals, and they're in a great position here to secure 50K. 50K, one versus one right now. Who's the final player? It might be Mr. Savage, he's lost the high ground here. Kind of a fake grappler, he's gonna go up anyways, shoot him down, possibly no, not yet, there oh. it is! No. Not yet gonna grab it. Connected there. He still has so many mats to fight with. But he's taking low ground right now. Aiden sitting low ground, healing up. That's his last mini. <gasps> Needs to use it well. Rockets above him. Aiden goes over. Oh, oh, he misses his oh, oh, Opportunity. The goes down. Oh, so close in the final moments. Aiden versus Mr. Savage. What a story for that. And I've got to say, that was insane. All the way through the heavy snipes, everything that he did in the end game, landing on those players unaware up above. That was King Richard that he caught by surprise. Crazy finish. Dude, one versus one for the red. It feels so cool to watch a player go like, don't follow me, I'm going aggro. And this is actually win the game. Mr. Savage versus Aiden for the win. That's, That's a where... historical 1v1, really. We're going to remember this one. And, because... and, and, the Aiden with the grapple, though, to come back up. And look at this first grapple. The first grapple yeah. didn't connect the way he wanted I, it to. I thought it was over right the there. Grapple, I'm right. like, it's over. He's yeah. done. He's gone down the hill. He was so quick, too, with pulling that out. Unfortunately, that's the difference with the, the normal grappler. I got this fucking shit, baby. Crap, no Easy gun. fucking double, boys. Okay? Easy Look fucking double. That's <laughs> huge confidence from Mr. Savage. Tries to show the shot. Oh! And he hey. calls it, too. That's the best part. Easy, he called it. Easy double. Easy double, boys. I got this. Oh, my goodness. Inside.